Good morning, children. We are in science period. This is your chapter fourteen. So we are starting with a new chapter: electric current and its effect. Children, already in sixth standard, we have studied about electricity and its circuit. So there, Buzo and Pehli, they have also made many circuits with the help of the components such as. the components that they used were the bulb the cell okay they used the wire and they have used the pin okay as a switch and they have arranged for a circuit okay and so they have play, played a lot of games and they had a lot of fun okay so we will proceed further with the same okay and we will see how these components they play their role in the circuit formation okay either how they help in the formation of the circuit but here we will also study about the symbols of these components so that we will see how they are helpful in drawing the electric circuit okay. so first we will study what is an electric current when there is a flow of electrical charge through a conductor it is termed as electric current conductor children as you know are the substance okay through which electricity can pass easily or else electricity can flow easily and all the metals are or said to be good conductors of electricity electrical charge when flows through this circuit if there is a source of electric current through a conducting material and it is an unbroken circuit that means continuously if the electricity passes through these circuit okay then we say without breaking of any of the conducting material in between then we say it is a circuit so the electrical charge refers to the negative charge or the electrons that flow through a conducting material such as a metal wire so electrons they are negatively charged particles so these electrons they flow through these conducting materials okay and these conducting materials as we know your wire is acting as a conducting material what is an electric circuit an electric circuit is an uninterrupted path through which electric current flows so when the electric current keeps on flowing but this electric current is not at all interrupted in between then it is said to be your electric circuit here children on the screen you can see a circuit okay here we have only three components this is your cell this is your cell here we have the wire this is your bulb but children if you look over here this bulb is not glowing okay and why it is not glowing because here you can see this end of the wire is not joined to the terminal of this bulb so that is why since we do not have any switch over here so this uh, as soon as you touch this wire to the bulb okay the terminal of the bulb this bulb will start glowing but here since it is not joined so this circuit is incomplete or we will say it is an in off position okay and here on the cell you can see two terminals are marked the positive and the negative terminals so on each and every cell we have got these two types of the terminals the positive and the negative terminals so this is a type of a circuit a so a simple circuit always consists of a source of light that is your bulb the source of electricity which consists of the cell either the battery then we have a wire which is connecting the cell and the bulb now when the circuit is complete the bulb glows and if any of the above condition is not fulfilled the circuit is incomplete and the bulb will not glow as i showed you there the uh, the terminal of the bulb was not joining the conducting wire so that bulb was not glowing if it would have joined 
then it would have blown so the bulb would have blown in that condition now children here we will study about some of the components and their symbols okay and these are the symbols which are represented in your test book but these may vary in from your book to some other book so if you go for reference for the other books you may have some time some other symbols also which they may have used so here on the screen you can see two uh, two components which are there one is cell and the other one is the battery so children here you can see within a cell when we talk of it is a single cell okay that means we have got uh, when we talk of a cell it has got two uh, parallel lines okay one parallel line is thicker and the other one is is thinner okay and one is longer and the other one is shorter the longer one is the positive terminal so this you have to always remember within a cell the positive terminal is always longer and the shorter one which is the thick one is always your negative terminal so this we are talking of a cell now when we talk of a battery a battery is a combination of two or more cells so here you will see two cells are joined this is one cell and this is your second cell so when these two have joined it has formed a battery so here you can see now this positive terminal and this is the negative terminal now this negative terminal is joining to the positive terminal of the other battery here also you can see this is written very small so here you can see how the positive is joining to the negative and the negative is joining to the positive and positive is again joined to the negative so this is how it is connected so this is the connection of your cell with a to form a battery this is your bulb so bulb as you know this is the structure of a bulb and this is that means the component bulb is in this way and here we have the symbol for the bulb here we are talking of a switch okay so in the first electric circuit you already saw that there we have used the pin as a switch but here we have a normal switch but here you can see when we are talking of a switch switch is always in two positions one position on position and the other one is said to be your off position when we say the circuit is complete okay or it is your closed type okay two ways we can say either it we will say it is closed type it is in on position or the circuit is complete in that case the bulb will glow other way if the circuit is incomplete or else it is open okay that means the bulb will not glow so switch can be in two positions either it is in on position or it is in off position so the wire used when the connection of the various components is seen it has to be taken care of it has to be checked okay as we saw in one of the other circuit that the bulb was not joined to the wire so in that way what was there there was uh, there was no flow of current till the bulb so it was a open type of a circuit here you can see the symbols for the switch okay one is open and the other one is closed so once if it is open that means it is in off position and here if it is in closed position that means it will be in on position so these are the two uh, this way you can say this is the, this uh, when the switch is open when it is in off position and when it is in closed way it is in in on condition here we have a conducting wire so wire is used as you know it is used to connect a bulb with a cell okay and it is this wire into which the current flows through so here now we have a complete circuit here we have a complete circuit which is consisting of a cell then we have a switch we have a wire and we have a bulb and this is in off position as you know this here you can see it is not joined so the current is not flowing so since the current is not flowing that is why the bulb is not glowing if it would have been joined if it would have been like this then the would then the bulb would have glowed because it would have been in closed that would have be a closed circuit or it would have be the complete circuit there are some devices children where one single cell cannot work okay so for such devices 
such as your remote control of your uh, TV sets. We have the AC remote control. Then we have the toys, and even we have the torch. So there we don't use a cell. There we are always using a battery. So there we always use a battery. When we are using a battery, uh, what is a battery? As already I have already discussed with you, when two or more cells, okay, they are arranged one after the other through a thick metal strip or the wire by connecting your one positive terminal of the cell with the negative terminal of the other cell, then it is said to be your your battery. So now here you can see this. This the batteries uh, for, for of the cell to form a battery can be in two ways. It can be in a series. It can be in a parallel. Okay. So when it will be in series, that means one of the battery will be joining the other battery like this. But here you have to remember this will be the positive. This will be negative. This will be positive and this will be negative. Then only this will work. Okay. So this is in series. But when we talk of in parallel connection. suppose here this batteries are like this so what will happen over here this will be joined to this end okay and this so this will be your negative this is positive this is again negative and this end will be positive so this is your arrangement of your cell in a parallel way okay so this is but here you can see one thing very common one thing you have to understand that always a positive will be connected to a negative and negative will be connected to a positive then negative then positive and then negative and this cycle will go on it is not that it can never happen that a positive will be a positive and a negative will be connected to a negative it will never work so here again you can see the arrangement of the batteries how they are arranged and how they are formed so here you can see this suppose this is the negative this will be positive this will be negative this will be positive this will be uh, negative and this will be positive so this will is the arrangement of the cell within a battery now pehli and buzo they have understood what is a cell and what is a battery but uh, they still they have one question in others they also have batteries okay but are those batteries the same as that uh, the normal batteries are these batteries made up of the cell so to answer this question batteries used in the tractors and the trucks and the inverters is a combination of several cells but the cells are not made up of the dry cells over here these are the several sets of plates okay sets of plates children and each set of this plate acts like a cell so we say that these trucks and the inverter bat uh, also have the batteries which are made up of cell so you have to remember one thing at this stage that these batteries of these vehicles are not made up of your dry cell but they are made up of a set of series of many plates which behave like a cell which acts like a cell so children i hope you have understood the difference between the batteries over here the batteries that we use in the trucks and the batteries that are made up of the dry cell i hope it is clear to you now so to today we all have studied about the electric circuit the components the symbols of the component and we also studied about the cell and the battery its arrangement in series as well as in parallel form and about the difference about the difference of the cell of the batteries that we use in the trucks and the tractors as well as the batteries that are made up of by using the dry cell thank you and before going home you just have two questions with you one is how is a battery different from a cell second one draw all the components along with the symbols used in the simple electric circuit hope so it is clear to you thanks children and we will meet